view of a shoveler. Not bad at all. We're way up here. Shovel on the roofs of the village. That's a drop right there. Keeping the New York Deli open, so <clears throat> they gotta yell and we'll stop. We'll stack it up. They just whistled, so now we can start dropping again. Finally made it to the front door to get down. So we are going to come down to Zach's and see if we can't expose his electrical panel. So I got Mike over here in the loader coming in right now. And uh, we're going to see, see if we can find that panel. It's on the back side of the garage here. Uh oh, got the got the whole crew out. Hey, hey. Everybody's out. Everybody's out playing. It's happening. Well, Mike's coming in with the loader right now, so we're gonna figure out where we want to start digging. Probably right back that way, huh? So we're gonna try to push that back a little bit, create some storage. <laughs> the dog's on the roof. Can you believe that? She's on the roof of the house. Sadie, what are you doing up there? Sadie, you're on the roof. What are you doing?
What are you doing up there? Wow. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Dog on the roof. He's inspecting. So, this is the roof, and we got a dog on the roof. And she's gonna get up there and roll around. Is she really rolling around up there on the roof? So got loaders and dogs on the roof. <laughs> Mike's building the ramp back here. Get some storage. We're going to take that and move it over here. Just hanging out at the compound. What are you doing, Sadie? Come on. Come on, over here. Come on. Come on, let's go, come on. So it's about 9.30 a.m. Sunday morning. We were been watching the weather. Uh, they said anywhere from eight to 12 today. So we've kind of been keeping an eye on things. Probably got a few inches down so far. Nothing too significant. Uh, so Owen's gonna take the chance to uh, fix up a couple bad chains on the skid. Cause it looks like uh, it's gonna continue to come down off and on throughout the rest of the day. It's supposed to get, you know, like I said, eight to 12. So uh, just get those chains fixed up on the machines. Make sure we're ready for it. It's pretty cool weather. So it's 25, 26 degrees out. So that's not too bad. It's keeping it from being a little too wet, you know? We'll just keep an eye on things and probably go out later tonight, maybe this evening, and uh, just kind of run through some of the accounts depending on how it, how it goes for the day. So we'll just keep an eye on things. So we'll get these all fixed up. can see the wear they just get real thin and they break so they're pretty thin almost to the end of the season here Sunday morning and uh, we're watching a little supercross. We're gonna make some uh, we'll make some breakfast sandwiches and we're just gonna wait for this snow to come down. Got a little bit so far. It's kind of dusting here and there. It's nothing too significant so far, but uh kind of having a lazy day here. Just waiting for this uh, I don't think this first part of the storm is going to be anything to worry about too much. So we're just going to have a kickback day, make some breakfast sandwiches and watch some Supercross and hang out. All right. So Owen's about done here. Make him a sandwich. He's got those things on there. Hopefully we don't have to go out tonight, but you just never know. 
Definitely gonna have to go out Tuesday, but maybe not tonight. Bud's patiently watching. <laughs> so is Sadie. Yeah, we got sourdough. Got a little bacon here. Here's the first one getting ready to come out. We put the, that's the egg right there with a little bit of pepper jack on it. I think it's gonna be pretty good. So yeah, it's uh, now it's starting to come down a little bit heavier. So if it keeps up this pace for a few hours, I might be wrong, we might be going out. So it's kind of showing that on the weather. It's gonna kind of stick like this. So we'll see how it does. And we might be going out here in a little bit. Uh, it's Sunday about 4.30 in the afternoon. Got a good cover on the ground here. I'd say six inches plus so far throughout the day. It's kind of, <clears throat> it's warm, so it's, it's melting off a little bit. But uh, I'm guessing we'll probably be heading out about 3 a.m. and just do uh, make our rounds. So we're gonna get over to the warming hut, get some get some dinner, get our Sunday dinner. All right. Dusting on it again. <laughs> we, just pop, we just popped into the warming hut for our Sunday night dinner. We're, we were the first ones in the door. My boy Joey's here. We're chilling. So we're gonna get some dinner and uh, get ready for that early morning wake up call. What do you think, Sadie? Okay. So. Just after 4 a.m. here. Come on. Nope, let's go. We are going to get out the door. Everybody's already out. So you can see. Got a nice little dusting on everything last night. Or yesterday and last night. Definitely uh, that 8 to 10 inches that they called for. here cleaning up the side yard we already did a couple houses down the street it's nice and fluffy right now Throwing it 
pretty good because it's pretty dry. So. And get these vehicles moved, get the driveway cleared, and move on to the next one. Sadie's wearing her Olight. Sadie, come here. So she's easily detectable in the dark. What are you doing? She's sniffing through the snow like normal. <clears throat> What'd you get in there? Those little lights are great for the dogs, especially at night. You can see we got a pretty good little cover on the on the road here. Blowers are out, everybody's out. I'm gonna get this cleared. Um, looks like that storm tomorrow might have been downgraded a little, so. It was uh, it was calling for 15 inches last night, and this morning I looked and it was down to 11. So, but you know that goes back and forth, so it could change again. Um, we're just gonna have to keep an eye on things. Hopefully, we're uh, almost at the end of the road here. A couple more of these and uh, should be melting off pretty quick. So. Uh, not a whole lot to deal with with the weather warming up and we'll be on to the next challenge so we got the hand crews over here got this, getting the steps cleared and around the building cleared and then we will uh, go to doing the parking lot it's definitely got a good uh, eight to ten inches on it <clears throat> sorry made his first pass through here it looks like go check out the loading docks real quick Still got a lot of snow, guys. It's gonna be a while before it melts, that's for sure. And I hear the machine running. Yep, they're gonna, they're using the uh, walk behind to do it. <clears throat> straightened out this summer. Good morning. So yeah, we're just uh, getting all this slough off because actually sometimes the trucks actually hit right here if the snow's too thick. So we always gotta make sure we're, uh, we get that cleared first thing. That way the, uh, that way they can deliver the mail without destroying the building. A lot of those guys that are bringing the mail up from like down south, um, sometimes they don't use the same drivers. So if you haven't been up here a few times and done it, it can be fairly difficult. Um, even with the chains, they don't really have, uh, they have the automatic chains and those are definitely not as good. All right. Just showed up with the loader. I'm gonna push this parking lot back real quick. We're just doing little quick passes. It's not too bad, so it doesn't take long at all. And then he'll uh, he'll be heading to the post office after this.
we took about four buckets out of here. That's all we really could on export. So we're gonna hope like heck that uh, for the rest of the season, we don't have to take any more snow out of here. So we've been out for an hour or so. It's just a little after five. And things are seeming to go in pretty smooth. So that's Owen. He's getting Zach's place clear. It's like a tunnel down in there, but just cut our path down in there and uh Get him good access in and out. So at 19 years old, he's become quite the little operator there with the uh, with the blower. He's finally uh, finally starting to get out there and run it without having an issue every time. And uh, you know that just comes with experience slowing it down taking your time and uh, he knows he's got a 13 hour day today so he definitely doesn't want to break anything so he's just cruising getting it done we're starting to work like a really good team here i got a really good group of guys and uh very lucky to have that two years in the business uh, I don't think a lot of guys could say that we put together one hell of a team and uh, these guys are doing I mean they're definitely not acting like rookies anymore Th this year uh, it really put it to us with the snow so that's kind of how things went So Mike's gonna put this blade on. We had the bucket, this big snow bucket, but since it's pretty light, we're gonna throw this blade on because we could actually move a lot of material with this little guy. I love this blade. And uh, so he's gonna get it on there. He hasn't really had a whole lot of chance to run it too much this season. So I told him to get in there today since uh, the John Deere is actually down today. We have a... Uh, it's a, we think it's a pressure relief in the hydraulics that's causing it problems. And uh, well, uh, I blew it out and then got it back on. Yeah, this one's got ice all over it though. Yeah, the torch, uh, we, don't the torch. we don't have the torch. Maybe just a rag. I don't know if that rubbing alcohol will do it. Yeah, these are a little iced up. Yeah. Somebody left that plug off. I don't know who it was, but you know, if we're not using the blower, that plug needs to be put back on because that's our electrical full of snow. Flashlight out. Uh, it looks a little low. Okay. We're gonna have to put 
put some in it. Probably better put some in it. What? Hydraulic. Do we have any here? Not here. We got it at uh, Snow Creek. Yeah. So Mike's gonna try out this blade. He's never really ran it, so just kind of gave him a couple pointers and turn him loose on it. See how see what happens. So the idea is gonna be wind row everything basically to that side of the street. That's what we're gonna do. And then he'll turn it the other direction. So that little thing for a small blade it does it does work that's for sure i love that thing i actually enjoy operating this one it's fun and once you get the hang of it you can really move a lot of snow even though it's a small small blade you can really move a lot of snow with it and getting a lot of little tight spots so it's that's what i like about it And it just takes a little bit to get used to. If you got it cut, if you got your angle too much, it'll it'll make it jump like that. But he'll figure it out. Doesn't take long. Looks like he's got it figured out so we're gonna move on to the next all right well we got everybody going this morning so uh hope you guys enjoyed our little video of uh what we've been doing the last couple days and bud and uh sadie and i they're already tuckered out they got up a little early um a little earlier than normal i guess but um we're gonna keep it moving. I'm gonna go uh, do what I gotta do at the office, things like that. But I wanted to get this video out to you guys early this morning. And uh, we're doing a bunch of roof removals and things like that. So I'll be doing some more footage with some of the other guys um, as I get that stuff in throughout the day. I'll probably get another one out uh, tomorrow at some point. But I hope you guys enjoy this and we will see you soon.